All right, this is just a quick update. This is what I got done last weekend. This is my engine shed, and I had to shim it up using cardboard because I stupidly put the yard tracks on roadbed. So I had to do the same things to get the rails to correct height to match the roadbed. I got this engine shed completely done last weekend. I had it 99% done for the past month anyways but now it's finally in place and it looks really nice. These are the two uh, tracks for the diesel fueling facility. Obviously this holds the diesels. This is the track for the tank cars which hold the fuel that goes in the storage tank that goes in the diesels. This is the coal tower that will go just about here and that slot you see is for coal cars and they'll dump their coal there and then on this side of the coal tower is where the steam engine will be to get uh, coal put in its tender. This is the water tower pretty self-explanatory same idea it's going right around there. Uh, in order to access the diesel fueling facility if you're a switcher diesel doesn't matter turntable is long enough you can get turned on it up there, if you can see that, is a switch. These two tracks will come back to the build a breakdown track. So if you're done pulling a train, you go up over that switch, come across here, straight through the turntable, boom, you're at the diesel fueling facility. If you're a steam engine, it's a bit different. You have to actually be in the yard and come across that switch and across the turntable here, and then on the left part of the switch, I, I gotta get a left-handed switch. This is aimed the wrong direction. Everything's off right now, so you can't really see the engines because it's kind of, I think this is a little dark. You can see those. Those are my two GP35s. They work pretty good. I have to finish one of my F7s, but the first one is in here. And then that is a, I believe, a 282 light Mikado steam engine. These roof panels are loose. I don't glue them down because if I did and for some reason an engine screwed up in there or something came off the tracks, you can see how tough that would be to get it back on the rails. This track here is for engines. Any engine that's already come out of the shed and has been fueled up will sit here. Anything that's getting used constantly will sit here along this track. Kind of like how they are in real life where they got a whole bunch of engines sitting on one track. Any engines that I don't use all that often will be in the engine shed. The engine shed also doubles as a uh, engine shop. Technically it is an engine shop, but I, I like using them as sheds. So I'll need to take gondolas full of wheels, uh, boxcars full of machine parts, maybe some rails and ties for the yard as well. And, and just store them on that track at times. This is my yard office, which I finally finished. I've had it for, I don't know, probably about a year. And it took all two hours to make. And that is an extension of the yard. That's the little yard lead. It's a real short yard lead. But that switch up there allows you to go from the yard across that switch, back down, across the switch behind the yard office to get over to the diesel fueling facility. These are my coal cars in my yard. I just kind of have them sitting here just to keep the yard full, kind of make it look nice. Because I have freight cars running on the main line and passenger cars sitting on the main line. It's That part of the layout is kind of stored right now because I've been working on this so much. So I hope you guys have enjoyed and I will have more updates a lot sooner than once every 11 days. I'm hoping a couple episodes a week I'll probably have a video of me running the trains at some point. Next big project is figuring out the Pittsburgh slash Johnstown area. I'm not sure what else I'm putting over there. i got to figure out that area. That'll probably be this weekend. But this has been a rundown of what I did the last week or so since my previous update I really like uh, sorry I really like the way everything's laid out everything's perfectly symmetrical now it's got a really nice flow to it and I just got to finish up 
the diesel fueling facility and square this off and uh, put this switch and these two tracks down here and the yard will be completely finished other than scenery so I hope you guys enjoyed this has been my third update the fourth update should be up maybe this weekend hopefully or maybe even sooner